Welcome to the Table Rush Talk Show. On this episode, I interview the talented and gifted Cheryl Spencer. Cheryl Spencer will show you how to get your first 1,000 followers on TikTok quicker than you thought possible. She dives deep on all things TikTok, how you can use your TikTok as a top of funnel platform to drive traffic and leads to your funnel, and she has created a TikTok challenge just for you. She graciously hacks my TikToks on this episode, and we get learning strategies, tips, tricks, all in real time. And don't forget her four-part, excuse me, don't forget her four-part hypnotic loop framework. It brings us behind the scenes of some deep psychological strategy and so much more. Again, enjoy this interview with Cheryl Spencer. And as always, look, like, follow, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. You know when someone is selling from stage and at the end, the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy? That's a table rush. My name is Misha Z, and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. Welcome, everybody, to the Table Rush Talk Show. Today, I am introducing everybody to the amazing Cheryl Spencer. Good afternoon, Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl, actually, technically. Um, and real quick, um, I want to say that, uh, what did I want to say? You know, I was struck when I met you by your, your enthusiasm and your, um, your, you know what, Cheryl, I'm going to start over. I, <laughs> okay. I'm going to start over. <laughs> That's the great thing about all this. Um, <laughs> What was I going to say? I just, I'm so off my game this morning. Um, <laughs> this will be, you know what? I'll, I'm going to go on. I literally publish everything. I publish everything. There's been like, I have published, I don't know, 400 and some podcast episodes, right? And yeah. uh, I've done, I don't know, a hundred interviews or whatever. And um, I just publish everything. I'm like, just let it rip, let it fly. Let the That's chips amazing. fall where they may. Yeah. Somebody's gonna be. Someone will get something out of it, right? I'm just starting to get on that uh, on that train and in that mindset because I'm like, it's so difficult. It's like what Gary V says, right? It's like, don't create document. It's like just, I'm starting to understand why that's necessary because if you're, you know, doing something, it's just too hard to like take time out and dot and create stuff that you can post. You got to just show the process. So I'm totally right? with you on that. Yeah. So this will be part of the process. Everybody that has made it through that super wonky introduction of the amazing Cheryl. Thank you. We'll just, we're going to keep going and we're going to let it rip. Um, there's actually been only two episodes that I have not published because they were so bad, or I don't know if bad's the right word. I was, I might've been like crying and having a mental breakdown. And I was like, I'm too vulnerable. I can't publish that, you know? Yeah. Um, but, um, so Cheryl, you, 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 what you're really gifted at right now or what you're really loving doing is helping uh, businesses um, get their first thousand uh, TikTok uh, followers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm running a challenge on the, on the 17th for that. And we're going to be going through the process. So, yep. Yeah. Fantastic. So everybody watching and listening, go to my TikTok challenge.com. Um, even if it's past the 17th, because I you're so good at what you're doing that I know that this will be evergreen and that there will be around two for sure. So at any point, anybody listens to this, let's say it's 2025, go to my TikTok challenge.com because Cheryl will be, you will be crushing it with something. I know it. You can say, yes, I will be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thanks for that. I <laughs> Yeah, I, I always forget that, you know, podcasts are so evergreen. So it's like, yeah, you don't want to necessarily say anything specific time frame wise. So, right. I so that you are throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's the 17th of any month, any year. Yeah, right. There will be a <laughs> your uh, my TikTok challenge dot com will be um, will be in play. The key thing, though. So any TikTok, I'm sure. 
uh, will continue to have outstanding growth. Um, they've started advertising like mad. Um, it's a very powerful vehicle. Tell me what you think is the most powerful, like the top two or three things that are most powerful for a small business. That's like, should I, should I be playing in the TikTok realm? Like, give me your pitch of why, uh, duh. Yeah, you should be. Okay. Great, great question. So I would say that, um, as you mentioned, TikTok is, you know, blew up really, really big last year. And in 2021, they actually surpassed Google in the amount of total traffic on the platform, which is absolutely insane because it's like a new app. It came out in 2016, 2018. And all of a sudden it's bigger than what most of us think of as the front page of the internet. And right. so- yeah, it's crazy. Wow. That is crazy. Okay. So it's going to give visibility to any small business. Um, uh, uh, what else? What else do we have? Tell me more. Like, like again, like why? Yeah. Well, well, first off, you're helping people grow their TikTok audiences. You're getting them to that first thousand followers. Uh, the key reason you want to get to the thousand followers is so uh, for what you can un unlock your link in the bio, and then you can unlock TikTok Live. Yes. So, mm -hmm. okay. What? What? Why? Why does Misha, who I've joined your challenge, and I can't wait. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like, why? Why do I yeah. want that? Yeah. So basically, when you get to your first thousand followers, basically what that means is that it's a lot easier to monetize on the platform. Right. So it's like we're not, you know, on TikTok necessarily to go viral or get followers or anything like that. We're on TikTok to grow our businesses so that we can convert all the the attention from our videos to our offers and build our audiences. Mm -hmm. And so TikTok is is really great because the algorithm is actually more sophisticated than Facebook and Instagram. And it actually targets your the people that you're creating content for, as long as you are creating content for a specific group of people, right? So if you have a customer avatar and you know who that person is, first of all, that person is on TikTok because there's billions of users. So don't worry about that. It's not just like, you know, teenagers doing weird dances, right? It's like your avatar is on the app. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. Right. <laughs> but let make no mistake. Your customer is on TikTok right now, whether they're the 75 year old grandmother or the, or the 35 year old, uh, burgeoning CEO, that person is interfacing with TikTok right now or it, whatever they're, they're, they're right. on the, 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 the app. And if we, if I don't reach out to my avatar through TikTok, my competition will be, I mean, we're at that stage exactly. of the game. Yeah. That's, that's a great way of putting it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. So you, um, I'm on your email list and we were just talking about soap opera sequences and stuff like that. And, and I think, um, relative to me, you're younger than me. <laughs> so I just say that because you seem to be, um, probably not that much younger, but that's Oh, okay. really? Okay. <laughs> well, how old are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, this old question. Um, how, how, I'm, I'm 32 years old. 32. Okay. So, uh, I'm not, yes, I am not that much older than you. <laughs> I'm, I'm 52. So no 53. So 20 years. That's, that's, it's almost <laughs> twice as old, Cheryl. <laughs> um, you look great. So. thank you. Well, you I was going to say you do too. You're kind of like the Russell Brunson doppelganger <laughs> of the female side. You're, oh, you're 32. I would have said you were mid to young twenties. So, um, do you get that a lot? Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. But. <laughs> okay, good. So you're a pro and have a ton of life experience. Anybody watching, Cheryl <laughs> is older than we thought, seasoned pro, ton of experience. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's a great euphemism. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you didn't just stumble into being a uh, TikTok genius and to be able into helping people uh, grow their followership. Like you have, tell me about your path to, to your aha moment of like, wait a minute. Yeah. Um, well, I, this is the, this is the, um, this challenge model is, um, currently at the time of recording is, is new, um, new for me, but, um, you know, 
Misha and I know each other from the the uh, the the, co- the two CCX coaching program, where basically they're uh, we're learning how to use challenges to grow our business. And, um, uh, you know, so I'm jumping into this model, jumping into this framework and seeing how it can work. So this is the first challenge that I'm running. But in terms of TikTok, what I've discovered with the 1K follower um, milestone is that it's really important to have that 1K follower milestone because you can unlock the link in the bio and you can start to go live and monetize. But what most people don't know, and this is really key, what most people don't know about TikTok is that when you are creating your first couple videos, TikTok actually boosts your boosts your um, your viewership and pushes your content out. First of all, because they don't know who your audience is, and so they're trying to push it to a broader audience to figure out who your who's going to be most likely to engage because they're always trying to do that. But the other thing is that TikTok also um, they want to get you hooked. On creating content for their platform. And so they actually will, they will boost those first couple videos and, you know, give you a shot, give you like a real shot to like, you know, get out to a lot of people. And, oh, you wow. know, um, so both of us know Pedro Adeo, who's the challenge guy, right. Who we're yeah. learning from right now. And um, if you look at his TikTok, he started his TikTok a couple of weeks ago and he already like two of his videos, he's only, only has three videos. Um, but two of his videos have over 2 million views. His first video has 2000 <laughs> views. His second video has 2 million views. And his third video has 4 million views. What? So, yeah. So this Stop is what's it. possible on the platform. Now, Pedro is like a genius, right? He's, and he, yes. he's good at marketing. And he has people who are, you know, coming to his TikTok profile, but that's not, that's not, that's not most of it. Most of it is that he created effective content that, that was speaking directly to his target customer. And he knew he created valuable content that was like funny and and, um, engaging. And now like, I mean, his videos have millions and millions of views after, you know, only being a couple of days on the app. So this is what's possible. And a lot of people don't understand the sort of like trade-off there, they're like, you know, TikTok, they think of it like, oh, TikTok, you know, is this opportunity that I can take advantage of? But let's be real. I mean, like you're creating content for TikTok. Like right. that's, so you have to think of that first and foremost. Like when you're on the app, you're first and foremost creating content for TikTok and then for your ideal customer. Mm. So like TikTok will give you that boost and that advantage because they want to give you a shot, right? Like, they want to get you hooked on using the platform. And if you take advantage of that, you can get to a thousand followers really quickly. In fact, I, my first, within my first five or six videos, I got to 2000 followers in less than 48 hours when I first started my account. So this is possible. Like this is absolutely possible. Like anyone can hop on the app and if they know what they're doing and they follow a proper strategy and framework, they can absolutely get to a thousand followers, like within the first couple of videos. And people don't know this because they just, they hop on the app and they want to like test things out, I would say. Um, But like, if you have a strategy, it can be a lot more powerful. Awesome. And the strategy um, you are going to go through in the challenge, I'm pointing to it over here. Don't get left behind. First thousand followers. (laughs) TikTok for business owners challenge. So gosh, we should almost hack my videos real quick. So I started a new table rush tiktok channel brand freshy new cool and uh, i've put two videos up and i think they got the first one got 60 views and the second one is on the way to 60 so it sounds like i might have missed the mark or don't give up or tell me like no 60 that's good yeah that's good or like give me off the top of your head what comes to your mind when i say that yeah, I'm it's it's hard to diagnose without seeing the videos, mm. but um yeah, like I would say that um cuz like first of all, we want to know like are are you speaking with and and uh, trying to basically elicit engagement from a specific audience yeah. or is it um is it more like broad like here's information. Yeah. Um so yeah, yeah like, you know what? Let's for fun. Let's let's do a share screen, pull up my TikTok and let's let, let's hack the first two videos. What do you think? 
Let's, Let's do, do it. it. This is amazing. Yeah. All right. You have TikTok up? Oh, uh, yeah. Are we, should I share my screen? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, share your screen. Okay. Or I can share mine, I suppose, too. Okay, I didn't think about that. I'm going to let you do it because you know what you're looking for. All right, give me one second. Me too. I'm trying to go here. Let's go all participants. All right, and what's your what's your handle? Table rush, no space. So first of all, like I noticed that you um you created the you cropped the video to be that that sort of like the part where um your inter interviewee gets you know starts to like talk like in is is like sort of like emotional about what she's talking about, which is really good. Um, because that's that's key, like emotional content and emotional resonance on the platform. Um, so first of all, do you, I don't know, do you mind? I don't want to be like <laughs> harsh or anything, but oh, be harsh. Want- Honestly, yeah. I'm a, I, let's do it. But this is a learning opportunity. I think anybody, everybody who is watching and listening can learn from, from the pain I'm going to feel right now. <laughs> okay. I'll be nice. Um- <laughs> oh, don't worry. Honestly. Okay, go. Okay. So first of all, um, I don't know if this sound is um, trending or not, mm. but that's one of the biggest things that you can do to, um, to like sort of boost engagement and sort of like boost, take, you know, boost the, your engagement on the algorithm because okay. So one thing that you can do is when you're on the app, you can go to the discover section and you can search for trending sounds. But what I recommend doing, which is even better, is scrolling the for you page, doing some initial research and figure out like what sounds are trending right now mm-hmm. and like figure out like what people are using right now. Because as I'm sure if you've been on TikTok for any amount of time, you know that there's these trends that go around. Yes. And it's like everyone's using the same sound to create yes. their content. Okay. Yeah. So you definitely, I would take advantage, take full advantage of that because you're again, like you're, you're creating content in the TikTok ecosystem, in the community. Okay. Right? And so like you want to like, the more you can sort of have be, be a part of that conversation that's going on, the more engagement that's going to happen on your videos. So, Love it. So, so step one, find a trending sound and then do a little research, like literally scroll the for you page and look for the lots of views, what sound is behind that. And then also you said, I can go to the trending sound. There's actually a TikTok trending sound area. I can look. Yeah. If you, if you go on the app and you click the magnifying glass where it says discover in like the bottom, bottom left. Yes. Um, you'll, you'll see it when you're on the app. Then you can search for like you can literally search for trending sounds. But like again, that's like it's not there's like kind of like what's most popular and then there's like what has more like street cred almost. Yeah. So like the way to find the ones where people are like you know that are like trending sort of like in underground is to like scroll the for you page and just get a sense of what's going on and like how people are communicating on the app currently. Love it. I don't know if that makes sense or it not. It totally but... makes okay. sense. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I think you're saying, hey, there's it's almost like there's the McDonald's sound, right? Exactly. There's the McDonald's sound that everybody versus we've got In and Out Burger. Like you can find like you're. Yeah. I'm looking for the In and Out Burger that's that's kind of hip, cool on the way up, kind of yeah. That's a brilliant anal- analogy. I couldn't have put it better myself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So we- I got the emotionally gauging part down, uh, uh-huh. used it, right? Because we had talked before. You're like, hey, maybe clip this clip to <laughs> where she gets excited and passionate. So I did that. Now you're like, hey, the sound choice I made was not so good. Pick a better sound. Do a little bit of research. Okay, next. Okay. So I would actually, I know that you clipped it and that's good, but I would actually clip it even more. Like a 30 second video on TikTok is very long, especially if you're new and you don't have followers yet. Okay. It's very, 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 very long. So I would, I would try to keep it to, um, like under, under 10 sec. I would like, yeah, like eight to 12 seconds. Awesome. So so eight to 10 seconds, eight to 
oh, 12 seconds. Yeah, like about about in there. Yeah. Yeah, good. So what do you, do you think this clip that I've got right there, um, do you think that there's eight to 12 seconds worth of content in there that's clippable? Okay, so like for this one, for example, um, the content is... Did you ever take like a, um, like a, uh, like a fiction court, like, like a fiction writing course or anything like that in like high school or anything? Uh, if I did, I can't remember, but yeah. tell me why. <laughs> Go on. Tell me what, so what, like, what's coming to your mind. You know, the concept of like show don't tell, mm. right? It's like, um, so you're, you're laying out this information and she's, she's walking you through that she has this knowledge and this information that's valuable. So like she has this knowledge and this information that's valuable. And this is a valuable clip. If this was for someone who, you know, needed to hear this at the moment, like this would be really valuable, right? Yes. Like, it's, yes. it's good. Yes. But like, the thing is that, um, the way to increase engagement, which is the name of the game, right? You want to increase yes. watch time and engagement. The way to do that is to, um, in the challenge, I'm going to be walking through my, uh, my framework for creating viral content. And I call it the four part hypnotic loop. Mm -hmm. And so it's a framework that we can use to make, uh, make content hypnotically engaging. Um, and so what I would say is that, we want the goal, right, is to get across this valuable piece of insight, this valuable piece of knowledge. But the way that we do that is we have to, like, engage people in various ways to, like, have that so that they can have that mental transformation and be like, wow, this is valuable. I love this. Thank you. Like, yes, oh. yes. Right. Yep. And so the first step of that is to um, is to capture attention. And so like what, what I would do is if I was going to like rework this, this video, you need to have some kind of title or some kind of hook that gets people to, to be curious about what she has to say. Like DNA allows you to eat pizza. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like your title could be, um, does your DNA, like what does your DNA type allow you to consume as much pizza as you want or something like, yeah, exactly. You, you got it. I don't know. Like, and, and when you say title, so it's not necessarily the, the, like, if you look in my little caption, I put your DNA can tell you it's okay to eat pizza. Right. But what, when you say your title, like when somebody finds, comes across my TikTok on their for you page, I want that that thumbnail, the title thumbnail. That's the thing that pulls them in, right? So, an easy what we're looking at right now is an easy DNA test to maximize your health and performance. Yes, it's true. It's kind of bland and vanilla. Whereas your DNA or whatever, I don't know. We, uh, I would, yeah. Do, yeah, maybe maybe a good hook could be like, um, what's your DNA type? Mm. Or something like that, because like when people are scrolling, like something that's going to capture their interest is always going to be something that is referring to themselves. Right. Or like, mm. like people want to like know more if, if you have like interesting information about how to determine your DNA type, that's something that people are going to be, you know, interested in like, oh yeah, like what's, how do I know my, how do I identify my DNA type? Like I, I'm going to stop scrolling and, and look at the video. So yeah, like, I don't, I don't know, like that might be a good hook, but. I love it. So the hook, so uh, of our four part uh, hypnotic loop, number one, capture attention, capture attention, get a solid hook. Yeah. 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 And I would, what I would do is instead of having this, um, this t title screen, I would um, uh, have your hook title throughout the entire video, like maybe, you know, above here. Um, so where Carissa's yeah. smiling face is, that's where I've got the hook title or no, yeah, or like, I mean, you even have space to have her on here and then have the title, have the title. Sorry. You can't really see. I'm putting oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Yeah, where, you could, literally yeah. where you leave that, yeah. put it right there. Cool. Okay. Love it. 
Yeah. So you have that throughout the entire video. And so even if people miss this split second, because, you know, split second text, they can yeah. still be understanding why they're watching. They're, can, they're being reminded why they're watching. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Um, step one, capture attention, the hook. And uh, we had thought maybe what's your DNA type might be a good one. And then step two of our, your four part hypnotic loop. Yeah. So step two is to, um, so step one is really to do like a pattern interrupt and engage the conscious attention. And this is actually, this corresponds to like the process that you use when you're hypnotizing someone. The first step is to capture conscious attention, sort of like more like left brain, like conscious attention. And, um, you know, pretty much like at whatever cost necessary, like use something really jarring, bizarre, unique, something that's going to be like, what in the heck? And they have to stop scrolling. You know what I almost put on there was I was going to put something like you're fat. <laughs> it's your DNA or something like that. That's that's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Do okay, that. I will. I will. I was like, I don't know, if, but I will. I'm just going to go yeah. for it. I'm going to let it rip. I'm just going to be Per your pattern interrupt, go on, tell me more. Yeah, next time that's, it's going to be- That's great. Okay, good. Yeah, like your fat, is it your DNA? Yeah. That's that's a great hook, yeah. Because like, I mean, it, it's when you scroll across that, you're like, it, it has like a, an effect on you, right? It makes you want to look and see see more. So yeah, like yeah. With, with step number one, like really it's like whatever whatever you can do, to be unexpected, jarring, bizarre, or unique. Because step number one, like you can't get to step number two and three and four unless you get step number one. Yeah, so like yeah. you, that's kind of like the whole thing with TikTok. It's like everyone like screaming and doing crazy things and like, you know, dabbing and jumping off bridges and all this stuff. Like it's, it's, it's crazy. Cause like, it's about hooking people's attention. Yeah. And so like on TikTok, you kind of have to be a little bit like brash, brash. Yeah. Brash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, and being that I'm doing video interview clips, the way I'm going to be able to get the hook is, um, is to, uh, is to, uh, I, I'm going to have to do the hook with, uh, with a headline. Right. I can't be like leaping off a bridge or I suppose I could leap off a bridge and then go into the, <laughs> into the video clip. But um, or I know there's I saw this guy out there right now who he'll he'll find like a, a massively trending video and then he'll clip he'll splice his stuff on on the other side of it. That's right? a great strategy. Yeah. And he'll do like even a second or two just enough but it'll be totally different. It's not even related. It's just totally different, right? Like his content first, and it won't be related at all. And so that was an, in, that was an what's, interesting strategy. What's his, um, do you have his, uh, do you have his thing? I don't have his, um, okay. I don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have that. Um, oh, look, I'm at 58. That's good. <laughs> oh, that's cause you looked at it. <laughs> But I and oh, I have one follower. Is that you? Is that yeah, you? Or did, you. Oh, good. Thank you. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Um, is this a? This is a. You you created a business account. Yes. Okay. Um. So I would definitely recommend. Um. So you're t you're taking the challenge, right? On Monday. Yeah. Okay. So I would. I would definitely start a, a fresh, a fresh account, which is easy. I mean, it's okay. You only have two videos, right? Like it's, yeah. it's okay. Um, so start a fresh account, use your email, make sure it's a personal account because um, when it's business, TikTok suppresses your reach because they feel like, I mean, it's just like Instagram, right? Yeah. Like yeah. if you create a business Instagram account, then Instagram suppresses your views and they expect you to pay for advertising. Oh. And so it's the same thing with TikTok. Like if you have a business account, then they're like, okay, if you're using this to make money, then we want to get paid. <laughs> so yeah, I would create a personal account. And the other thing is that with a business account, you have less access to sounds. There's some sounds that oh. aren't available to you. Yeah. Awesome or not awesome, but the business account allowed me to put that little, the, my, my, uh, link in bio, right. 
Isn't that if you do a personal account, how do you get your social links up there or your links? You got to get to a thousand followers. You got to get to a thousand followers. That's a key point for anybody listening. Rule number one, don't make it a business account. Be- and you just told the various reasons why. A, that um, then TikTok wants you to start paying. So they're going to suppress your information um, or your your content. And that... Uh, and that that's why they try to trick us. They try to trick us into getting a business account because we can put our link in there right away. But you're saying, no, I have a better strategy. Don't make it a business account, make it a personal account. And I'm going to show you how to get to a thousand followers quickly so you can get your link and bio in there. Absolutely. Yeah. You love it. Thank good you. Point. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, assuming I've got my hooks down or did you want to hack some more or, or um, I appreciate your, what do you think when you see this, go, go ahead, give me more f- content. I didn't mean to, or, or feedback. Oh, on, um, <clears throat> on this one. Okay. Well, um, or whatever, or whatever you want. I mean, you were looking at that other page. You were looking at this page, whatever, whatever you think we can, Let's we see. can move we got- on to. We got the this the sound we covered that we covered the the part one of the hypnotic loop i would say another another um technical thing is um you never want to say link in bio in the text mm. because tiktok again it'll suppress your views and it will actually once if you create a tiktok and you use the text link in bio usually when you publish it tiktok will show you the promote button and they want you to create a spark ad for that organic content. So like, obviously a lot of times you're not going to want to create a spark ad. You want to see if it performs well first. So yeah. I love it. So rule number two, don't put Lincoln bio in there. Son of a gun. What else? Keep going. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would have a call to action though. So, I mean, your call to action, right. Should be follow me for now, at least. Okay. Yeah. Um, because like, and that's, that is important. And you already, I mean, you're, you know, like you already know the marketing side of everything. So like, it's good that you have a call to action. Like mo- a lot of people don't understand why that's important, but like, yeah, follow me. And, um, yeah, because like when you're scrolling on TikTok, even if you really like the video or if you want to follow the person, like sometimes you just won't connect the dots because right. TikTok is so fast paced yep. that unless you like tell someone what to do, they probably won't do it. So I love it. I'm going to make a big, shiny end, end, um, end thing that says, follow me <laughs> right like yeah. in a, every video put, or who knows whatever you could have fun with that and if you once you cre- once i created it or anybody watching or listening created that pdf or that thumbnail you could easily splice it in on every one of your videos yeah you know, you like, know go, go, go ahead. ahead no you go uh well i was gonna say um you could also i think you can create um custom stickers as well hmm so, you know, like when you um, are creating a TikTok and you're adding text and everything, there's the sticker button. I'm pretty, yes. there's a way for you to like upload custom stickers and you can like upload a sticker that is your, always like your end screen or like always your oh, fault cool. call to action. Love it. Okay, good. Assuming that I've got the, um, the f- of the hypnotic loop, we've t- thoroughly talked about the capture, the attention, the hook. <laughs> What's next? What's step? Yeah. Two? So <laughs> yeah, go. next, the next step is to engage, uh, is to ca- un- capture the uncon, the subconscious attention. So this is more like right brain. And, um, like if you're hypnotizing someone, you know, you can't, proceed until you have their conscious attention, right? But then you can't really go past that until you have their unconscious attention. So the next step is to um, do that using, capture their unconscious attention by using, engaging the right brain and um, engaging their curiosity or, and or imagination. Okay. Yeah. 
And so, so go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So um, like this is, so, you know, hook story offer, obviously. Yep. Well, hook story offer is the same thing. It's, but what I'm saying is that there's a further distinction that you can make hook. The, the, the key to crafting an exceptionally well-designed hook is to understand that a hook is composed of the first two parts of the hypnotic loop, capturing the conscious attention and then immediately capturing the unconscious attention. And a lot of marketers don't understand this. I don't, I don't see anybody talking about this, but like if you're running ads, like your first goal is to be jarring, bizarre, unique, like we talked about, right? As much as possible. And then like the person who was splicing content, right? Like they had like this really jarring a pattern interrupt hook. And then the rest of their content didn't even wasn't even congruent. That's okay. You can do that because your yes. your goal when you're at stage number one, your goal is to get to stage number two. Mm. So like that is still effective. It doesn't even have to be congruent. You can even have it so that it's incongruent and it still is effective because you're using the psychology. Okay. I love it. So unshare the screen real quick. Um, so there's two parts to the hook. There's the, there's the, um, the conscious and the subconscious, which I love. I love the way you're breaking this down. This is amazing. Everybody listening, click on her freaking, um, uh, TikTok challenge link. Where is it? My TikTok challenge.com and learn more. This is ridiculously good right now, Cheryl. Thank you so much. So I just want to thank you. <laughs> like the the value add right now, beautiful. Um, so uh, the subconscious. I want to talk about that two ways. How about with the um, in regards to TikTok? So it could be uh, the 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 hook the conscious hook could be the glaring headline you're fat it's your dna <laughs> for example yeah. right great i've consciously got their attention yeah. and then subconsciously i'm going to go and talk to that so it could, would that could that be another uh like another um headline or no you like what are my options there? I guess is my question. Yeah, yeah. So it can be any number of elements. It can be text. It can be the way. It can be a camera angle. It can be you know what your your interviewee is saying. It can be something a question that you ask. It can be anything. But the goal of it should be to engage their imagination and curiosity. So whereas the conscious attention is the pattern interrupt, the um, the subconscious attention is captured by creating an open loop. Okay. Yeah. So like an open loop is basically something that is so, um, so actually the headline, like you're fat, it's your DNA. That is actually starting to get into, it's kind of like a combination a little bit because yeah. your fat is the, is the attention grabber. And then the second part is it's your D. Or you could say, is it's, it your DNA? Is, is it, your, it DNA? your DNA? And so then they're like, oh, open loop. They're like, wait a minute. I need to know more. So we've got, we've just, with that headline, with yeah. that, that headline, we've crafted the, I love that. Okay, go on. Do yeah. And then um, I would say like, also like, it's important to really kind of deliver on that. Like as you're starting to go into the content. So like, you know, making sure that um, the first thing that someone hears after that hook, because it yeah. is kind of like a two-part hook, make sure that yeah. the first thing that they hear in the interview is about DNA and weight gain, because yep. they want to make sure that it's going to answer their question. Right. And so in that little video clip, she says, hey, I would, I might be able to edit it better, or maybe we don't need to go look, but the information is in, is in there where she's like, Hey, your DNA tell, if you get your DNA, you might be able to, you might be eating the wrong foods. You might be doing more damage than good in effect. Right. Yeah. I would make that maybe the first thing that people hear yeah, I love or that. something. Yeah. yeah. That, no, that's good. Okay. I'd like the way you're talking about the, um, 
the hypnosis and you're throwing all this in here. This is good. This is great. Yeah. Cause it's, 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 it's almost, it's very predictable. Like there's a, um, there's like a framework for how we process information. Right. And if we can tap into that framework, then we can, you know, be really effective at what we deliver. Yeah. Per- perfect. Good. Okay. Um, did you want to add anything else in regards to the um, capturing the subconscious attention? I think I liked what you said, how you can do it with a headline. You can do it with a camera angle. You can do it with uh, with, you said a couple things, maybe re re recap those. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think like specifically for the example of, of that video, like, um, you could have, I don't know. I mean, like, so also like a part of it is like, you don't really know what's going to be effective. Like we can sit here and engineer all day long. Right. Like, okay, this hook is going to work. This unconscious is going to capture their attention. Yeah. And you know, the reality is, is that it might, or it might not like understanding the parts of the way the mind works is going to give us a huge advantage, but really like it comes down to testing content testing. because I, yeah. 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 No, I love that. And I wasn't, we don't, don't need to talk about that video clip anymore, but it was more of like, here's I, I it, with the, under the guise of testing, Hey audience, uh, here's things you can test. You can test with a camera angle. You can right. test with, with, uh, uh, what, what other things did you say? Yeah. Um, with, um, yeah. Uh, like a filter or maybe like zooming in or like, um, you know, just specific words that you want to highlight. Yeah. Um, or like another, another piece of text, which kind of guides people as they're watching through the video. Okay. Yeah. So open up that loop, get, get, gain their, their subconscious curiosity. Okay. Yeah. Step three. Step three is the, um, the delivery oh, of the delivery. information. Yeah. So, um, basically it's, um, usually, so like in hypnosis, it's getting, it's activating an unconscious response and, um, it corresponds in hook story offer. It corresponds to storytelling and hypnotic copywriting and emotional, emotional storytelling and copywriting. Really. This is the step where it's like, this is actually kind of like the bulk. It's kind of like the lion's share of delivering content because this framework is about delivering content. Mm. Right. So like, we're only like, we're focusing on, um, you know, using the, the hook and the open loop so that we can get to this part because you can't really, um, just give someone, you know, great information because it's not like they, they have no investment in it. Right. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 go ahead. Yeah. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. It's, um, it's, um, you've got to draw them into the good information and then be able to deliver that good information. So exactly. yeah, I love that. Okay. So it's the, the delivery of the information, like be, be thoughtful. Like for me and my video clip, for example, as we discussed, it's like, be thoughtful in the delivery I've set exactly. them up. I've been like, Hey, you're fat could be your DNA. There we go. That you're fat. They're like, what? Fuck you. Oh, or heck with you, excuse me. <laughs> or maybe yeah. I am. They're like, I am. And yeah. uh and uh not that there's anything wrong with being fat, people. Be <laughs> fat as you want. God bless you. Um, and then uh it was uh it's it might be your DNA. And so mm-hmm. open loop, they're like, wait, what? And then deliver, like, hey, that clip's gotta say, yeah, you know what? Because of your DNA, you might think you shouldn't be eating fat, but fat is what you need to eat, right? Like it depends on your exactly. DNA. Bam. Exactly. Good. Can I guess that step four is the call to action? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. You're natural it is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm so pleased. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Right. And the call to action for simply can be, hey, well, we know it is. Don't make it. Um, I have this in my rule number one, two, and three, right? Again, don't make it a business account, everybody listening. Two, don't put link in bio. Rule three, 
which coincides with step four is you do want to have a call to action. And so that could be follow me. Right. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, like step four is also um, depending on the type of content that you create too, it can also be like, if you're delivering like, um, entertainment, mm. the step four is, is like the punchline. Oh yeah. I yeah. So that. mm-hmm. good. That's a great, that's great insight. Like close the loop almost. Is that another? Yeah. Way yeah. That? It's like, it's like the hook at the end because what it does, it, um, it takes you into a different frame of mind and makes you look at what you just, the information that you just saw, like a little bit differently. So like, that's what a punchline does. And so like a good call to action is something that is a little bit like transcendent in a way too. Um, Like, I'm not, this is like maybe too complicated. Like I think like, you know, having like follow me or like, you know, get the, get the DNA guide, you know, check out the DNA guide or something like, yes, whatever. Um, but yeah, exactly. Like step four is hypnotic commands and calls to action. Mm. Keep going, keep riffing. There's more in there. I know. Tell me yeah. more. I'm, I'm, I am <laughs> soaking it in. Like, don't yeah. be scared to go as deep as you want or, 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 or uh, over, I'm smart. I can handle it. Come, come, bring it. <laughs> okay, cool. So I, <laughs> My I audience really... is smart too. Yes. <laughs> and if you're dumb audience, I, I, I will explain it to you. Email me. The, the, my email is in the link. So anyway, okay, go so on. Here's, here's a way, here's a way to dumb it down though. Okay. Is it really, I mean, it really just corresponds with like the four elements, right? It's like, you know, fire element is, you know, you have to you, capturing the conscious attention and, you know, being like, jarring unique like um actually so okay so um it it corresponds with the four types of mental contents and it has to be in this specific order so in um in poly um there's there's words for it actually like there's four there's 52 types of mental contents okay and um like you ever played 52 pickup yes that's why okay so there's there's 52 types of mental contents but then they they basically fall into four main categories okay. and it corresponds with fire earth air water and so like the first the first one in in poly the word is vinyana and this corresponds with the fire element and basically this is the part of the mind which is the cognizing part of the mind so this is the part of the mind that sees that that you know say like for instance like light coming in through the sense door of your eyes yes. it's like the part of the mind that cognizes that there's something something there so it's it's the it's the cognizing part of the mind and then the next step that's that's vinyana the next step is is called sanya okay and this is the part of the mind which is the uh perceiving and evaluating part of the mind And it corresponds with the element of earth. And so this is the part of the mind that is like, we were talking about step two is like engage the, the curiosity, engage the imagination. It's the part of the mind that sees the light coming into the eye and then makes a judgment about what it interprets, what it means Mm -hmm. based on all the memories and all the knowledge that you have it makes a judgment and an evaluation. What is it? Is it something that's, you know, that's, is it something that's beautiful? Is it something that's ugly? Is it something that's going to hurt me? Is it something that's amazing? Right? Like we don't know. So this, this is the part of the mind that does that. And then the third step um, is the, so we have the Vinyana, the Sanya, and then, then we have Vedana and Vedana is the part of the mind. It corresponds with the, um, the, uh, unconscious or sorry, the, um, the, like the reaction, it's like the reactive part of the minds. Okay. So like, um, uh, it, it, yeah, it corresponds with air and it's, it's, it's responsible for the mental action. And so the, um, the, this, this is the step where like, uh, there's, you see the light, you see, oh, it's a beautiful flower. And then what your mind does is it, it, it creates the sensation, a pleasurable sensation because it's seeing something pretty 
right? Mm-hmm. And so it's it's the mental action that actually creates the sensation all throughout your body. Cause you know, like the body is, is the mind. It's all like the same. It's all your mind. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the v- okay. Vedana. Um, and then step four is called Sankara and the san- Sankara is sort of responsible for the emotional intention or the, the conclusion, like the impact. Um, so like, this is what kind of it's, it, yeah, it's like the emotional intention and it basically is what remains and it's also what gives push to the next vinyana. Mm-hmm. So like it's um yeah, so like this is what, like what I was saying like with like the punchline, right? Yeah. It's kind of like the the ending. It's like the hook. It's like the you know, like the the end part, but then it like gives rise to the next the next joke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so so when I said call to action there's the literal call to action of, um, of, of follow me or whatever, but you're (laughs) saying, no, we're going deeper than that. Yeah, there is that, but I'm your, go ahead. Yeah, no, you just gave me an aha moment. That's exactly right. Because like, when you say follow me or whatever your call to action is, it does, it gives rise to the next thing that you have to do which is like capture their attention all over again because like if they if 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 you say like you know follow me and they check your bio you have to have something in there that's going to be like starting the whole cycle over again right like you have to like start so yeah that's that's a good point yeah okay cool cool um quick um this is all awesome and you've gone way deep with all this, which is great. Like the knowledge that you bring, the good news is I'm guessing if someone jumps on your, uh, TikTok challenge, the, uh, the go to my TikTok challenge.com, you're going to get them a thousand, um, a thousand, uh, followers very quickly. Um, how long is the challenge? Four days, five days, how, what, five, how days, long yeah. is five days, five day <laughs> challenge. Um, and it's not a lot of time required to invest, right? It's not like you're in for the whole day. It's like little blips of time, correct? Yeah. It should be like an hour or less, less than an hour of training. And then there's, there's, there'll be homework. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And if anyone wants to jump in the, uh, the VIP as well, I'll be like helping you craft your content, yeah. um, so that we can really like, uh, turn up the engagement and, and get your your content going. Okay, fantastic. And the VIP, um, there's a little, just a little order bump for that, right? In in our in our funnel language, just a little extra. It's a yeah. free challenge, but if you're like, hey, I'd love to take advantage of Cheryl's obviously amazing knowledge. I'm like, and sh- I'm like, oh my god, there is so much going on behind the scenes with what you're bringing to the table. It's amazing. So thank you for sharing and i'm going to be remiss if i don't ask ask a few questions in that regard so we'll button this this part up but um for a little bit of money somebody can get your help like you'll be like hey yeah i'm bringing my hypnosis knowledge this poly knowledge like i I, clearly there's some well we're going to be covering in the free challenge is going to be where all the training is so if you if you just want to show up and like learn everything that you have to do. And then you can go do the homework. Like I'll give you the homework totally. too. I'll give you the action steps and that's all for free. I love if it. You, if you want my personal help and to be part of the VIP group, then what we're going to be doing is we'll be working on creating your content. And um, that's really going to help you accelerate towards the thousand followers. So if you want that, if you are serious about, you know, using TikTok to grow your business and, you know, getting up and running so that you can get that link in your bio, then I highly recommend jumping in the, the VIP. Yes. Well done. Everybody click on my TikTok challenge.com. The link is in the show notes. Click on it. Whether you're listening on the podcast, the table rush talk show podcast, or you're watching us on the table rush talk show, YouTube channel. Um, yeah, click on the link, get involved and, uh, let's get you, I'm in, I'm, I want to get to a thousand and I'm going to be starting fresh with zero. I've been instructed. (laughs) 
<laughs> start a new account. So I'm all in. How did you go to hypnosis school? This poly stuff you're talking about sounds like we got some Hindu stuff flying around in there too. Like what's going on? Like what? Give me some history. <laughs> give me some background. Like there's a lot more to you than meets the eye. So tell me. Yeah, I, I learned this um, this framework in a. Um, have you ever heard of those uh, free ten day vipassana meditation retreats? Have you heard of those? Yes, absolutely. Got, and the vipassana. One? Here, I'll 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 give you my uh, limited knowledge. The, that's like a silent meditation, right? The vipassana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Ten. All right. What you tapped into the universe on a ten day <laughs> silent challenge? Is that what I'm hearing? All the information was downloaded on a on a silent meditation. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, go you, tell me. That's that's I'm cool. Kidding. Like you you've heard of it though. Yeah. Yeah, they're like these centers, uh they're all over the world and they they have like they offer free 10-day silent meditation retreats and they teach you the framework that the Buddha taught, which is like fantastic. So yeah. you get to like learn that for free. You get to be in this like environment for 10 days and it's like you know, you're like meditating for like 12 hours a day and like, you don't have to worry about anything. You like food is taken care of, lodging's taken care of. And you just like, you sit and you like learn the theory and then you practice and practice and practice. It's like an amazing experience. And yeah, I highly recommend it for, for anyone who is interested in that sort of thing. Cause it definitely, definitely is very impactful. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So that you're bringing that into this. Yeah, are are the the instructor the um, the person who started the retreat centers and um, taught is teaching the the framework? He talks about this. There's like after there's like daily meditation, and then every night there's like a discourse. Cool and okay, awesome. Yeah. And so he that they were they broke down the the poly part of what you were telling me. Is that is that? Is that what I'm Yeah, that's today? that's where that's where I learned the um the like the poly words and like the facts that there are like everything is made up of just like the four the four elements, right? Like in our our, yeah. our psyche is no different. Yeah. This is amazing. This is awesome yeah. how you're bringing bringing that together. How about the hypnosis stuff? Is that is that did you do NLP or did you were you were you and uh like hypnotherapy for a bit or, or was no, that hypnotherapy or the hypnosis you you've referenced hypnosis a couple of times Mm -hmm. that was brought in through the Vipassana meditation training as well, or. Well, um, I, you know, like, you know, we're, I'm like a marketing nerd. So that's kind of like where the hypnosis comes in. Cause I noticed that, um, you know, everyone knows about like the hook story offer framework, which is yeah. like, you know, we, we all, we all know about that. But um, I realized that hip, that it also cor- that it corresponds to the four stages of hypnosis. Yeah. So like, that's like with, with creating an exceptional hook, like everyone thinks that like, and it's true, like, you know, creating, creating a really good hook is, yeah. you know, it takes like skill. Right. Yes. But it's not like hit or miss. Like if you, what people are missing is that it's the first step of, and then the second step combined. And if you can hit the first step and then hit the second step, you'll have an exceptional hook every single time. Mm -hmm. And then you can go into delivering your valuable content. That's amazing, Cheryl. And so, and the first step is capture their attention Second step is capture the subconscious attention, open the loop. Yeah, exactly. Cool. It's yeah. been amazing. Um, I could keep grilling you all day, Cheryl. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but uh, thank you so much. This has been very powerful for me, and I look forward to your challenge. Again, I'm going to tell everybody, go to mytiktokchallenge.com, the link is in the sh- are in the, is in the show notes so you can click and register for um Cheryl's amazing challenge whenever you're watching this cuz you're going to be doing this in perpetuity. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um I've got one final question for you. Um 
Is there anything that you were hoping to, a message you wanted to get across or, or something you wanted to say, or is, is there anything that I missed or that you would be remiss if you didn't, if you didn't? No. Um, yeah. I mean, thank you so much. This has actually been incredibly like, um, impactful for me. So like, really, thank you. Like you're, you're an amazing interviewer. So I really appreciate, um, you reaching out and like having me on your show. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Okay. Fantastic. Cheryl. Thank you so much. What I'm going to do is hit stop. Um, and we'll say goodbye offline. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the table rush talk show for resources to help you sell your stuff. Go to B E L O V E dot media forward slash resources. That's B love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star, and share. Thank you again for listening.